Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will learn how we can create a random color generator application with the help of React.js. So in this uh, video, we cannot use any third party package or library. We can create this application with the help of only React. Okay, so first see the demo of this application. Uh, so you can see here on my computer screen, I have a three button and one for generate random color and second is create RGB color. When I click on this button, uh, it provide a RGB value of the uh, ground color. Okay, and one for create hex color. So it's a uh, give a hex color hex code. So I click on generate random color, and you can see a background will be changed. It gave a hex code of this color. So I can click on again on random color. You can see background color change, and it gave the ground color uh, hex code. So you you can create a different color uh, by clicking on random color generator button. Okay. Uh, when you click on RGB color, uh, you can see it gave an RGB value and when I click on generate random color, you can see it create a random color and according to those color, it provide a RGB value. So you can copy this one and use anywhere. So in this video, we will create this project. So let's start the code. So I open my code editor and here you can see I already create my uh, React application. Uh, so you can create react application with the command npx create react app and then you can give your app name after that uh, we go to uh, src folder and in this folder i create uh, one more folder with the name of component in this folder uh, i create a one file uh, which name is i give a name random color random color dot jsx and after that in this uh, file uh, i create a component so here i write cause random color and in this component i return one div okay i return a div and i pass a div value like uh, random color random color and here i pass an arrow okay after that i export this component i write export default and after that i write a random color in next step i go to app.js file uh, and in this file i remove all th these things so i don't need this code okay I, I select header and close remove this one and here i import my random color component okay and use it so here i write random color and you can see it automatically um, import a random color component at the top and we can also remove this logo okay we don't need this but i save the app and go to a browser and you can see here i can get a text random color so in next step what i can do uh, i go to vs code and go to a random color and instead of uh, writing random color text here uh, here i create a three button so i write a button and in the first button uh, i write generate random color generate random color and create two more button uh, for a hexa color uh, code color and one for rgb code okay so i write button and here i write create hex code hex code or you can write a hex color and after that uh, here i write a rgb rgb so i save this file and go to a browser and here you can see i get a three button generate random color create rgb and create hex color okay after that uh, now we generate a random color so i go to a vs code and that uh, we can use our use state so i create our two use state variable uh, first for a ground color and second for uh, uh, checking the type of color okay it's a rgb or hex so i write type of and then write set typo and after that, uh, here I use a uh, use state. Uh, sorry, use state. And first value of this is hex. Okay. I give a hex value. Initial value is a hex color. Okay. After that, uh, I create one more use state variable here. I write cost and then color and then set color. This is for our current color we store in this use state. And I write use state. And here I pass a uh, black. Our initial color is a black. Okay. So in next step, what we can do, I, I go to a button and here I use a on click event. So here I set a uh, set a type. So here I write uh, set 
typo and x and after that i apply on click event on rgba button where i pass and here i like rgb okay so this is done so in next step uh, i create a two function uh, first function can generate a hex color and second one create a rgb color so here i write hex handle create random hex color uh, so here i create a function cause handle create random and hex color okay and after that uh, i use an arrow and in this i pause the functionality uh, so you can as you know that hex color uh, contain a six digit like that zero h zero 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 so uh, hex color contain a six digit like this uh, so i need to create a hex array so here i write let hex is equal to and here i create an array so in this array uh, we write a value 0 to 9 and a to e okay so here i write uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then write a then b and c after that i write a d and then o and at the end i write f so i create a hex array so after that i create a hex color so let hex color and is equal to hash so i assign a value to a hex color hash after that uh, we create a six digit uh, random color uh, using this array okay so for that uh, we can choose a for loop so for let i is equal to zero and i less than is equal to six and after that uh, here i increment the i variable okay so here i write hex color and sorry write hex color and plus is equal to operator so here uh, we need to create a random six digit uh, number okay so combining these array to create a six digit randomly so for that uh, we create a function here so here i create a function uh, like uh, random color utility random color utility so here i write cost and then write a function name random color utility and after that actually it take a length okay so here i pass the length and here i write return math dot floor and after that i write math dot random and here it and then multiply by 100 okay now i go to a uh, handle random color function and here i write a hex and in this hex i pass this function random color utility and a uh, send a value hex dot line okay so what happened here uh, it use this array okay this function use this array and create a random value so when a random value generated it's uh, uh, combined with this value hash and we get the random color and after that uh, what uh, i can do here so here i write console dot log and here i pass a hex color okay i save this one and so next uh, what i can do so i go to a button and here i pass a on click event so on click and in this on click uh, we pass a condition okay so what we can see here so here i write type of is equal to is equal to hex if uh, our type is equal to hex then run this function handle create random uh, here i pass this function and otherwise here i create one more function like uh, cost so here i paste and instead of hex i, I write rgb okay r g b and then like uh, this and so like this okay and here i pass this function so yeah i copy this function name and paste here and save so now i go to a browser and i inspect this 
go to a console and refresh this and now I select out create hex color and then uh, click on generate random color so here you can see it gave an undefined undefined value so what happened here so I go to a VS code and here you can see I multiply uh, with a hundred so I don't multiply with hundred I multiply with this length okay so I remove this hundred and here choose length so I save this app and next go to a browser and reload this and then click on create hex color and after that generate a random color so here you can see it gave a, a random hex color value okay so I didn't click on generate random color and here you can see it gave a different value on uh, every click so now we set this value here and show on our uh, application so next in next step first we create our RGB color so I go to a VS code and here I need to create write a functionality for RGBA so RGB color uh, is simple to create so here I write const or is equal to random color utility and here I write 256 and after that const or g is equal to random color utility 256 then copy this and here I write a b and after that here I write a set color so I want to set this color here and next I use our template literal and here I write rgb and after that here I write dollar and or so dollar and here I write G dollar and then write B so our color this color will be set and again go to a handle random hex color function and here I comment this one and after that here I write a set color and then set this color hex color okay so in next step uh, I go to our this dip main dip and here I write a style so here uh, I write uh, some CSS so first give a weight 100 VW of red I gave a height 100 VH and then give a background color so background so here I pass a color variable so our initial background is here you can see is a black so due to this reason I pass this color and then set this color when we click on generate color okay so I go to a browser and here you can see I get a background color and when I click on generate random color you can see our color will be uh, generated randomly so what I can do here so here I show the hex color code here and RGB code here okay so for that I go to a VS code and after this button I create one more div and in this div I create a h3 tag so here I write a condition so I write type of is equal to hex show or uh, hex color otherwise uh, show RGB RGB a color okay and one more thing I write I2 tag here and sorry H1 you can write I2 or H1 so here I write H1 and here I pass a color variable after that I style this div so here I write a style attribute and in this I write display flags sorry here I write display flags align atom center justify content justify content also be a center and flex direction will be a column flex direction will be column and color is hash ff mean white and next we'll give a font size 30 pixel then give a gap to 20 pixel and at the end give a margin top 100 pixel save this and go to our browser and here you can see uh, and I remove this console here and here you can see I get the RGB value so when I click on generate random color you can see random color will be generated so we get the same RGB code of a current color click on generate again you can see it generate a random color on each click if I click on create hex color so here write a hex color but here not changing so what I can do here so here I use a use effect hook so I go to a VS code 
and here I write a use effect. Use effect. So I write use effect, and in this I pause the function. And every time uh, our type uh, col type of color will be changed. Okay, so here I write type of, and after that, so here I write type of. And here I pass a condition if type of is equal to is equal to RGBA and uh, run this function. Uh, so I copy this and paste here. After that, in as in as uh, run this hex connect. Okay, I copy this function. So here I copy this one and paste here. So save and go to a browser. And refresh the application and here you can see when I create a random color it's uh, change the code here okay you can see it generate random color so now I want to gen now I generate a random color by clicking a generating random color button and when click on hex color you can see it's uh, changed to a hex color code and now I generate a hex color so now our application will be ready I hope you like this video so thanks for watching See you in the next video. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Patreon for more tips and tricks. Link in description.